The Sabre is an extremely versatile weapon. Because of its versatility and speed, it has actually become my favorite weapon of choice. You now, you don't have to do a big swing. You don't have to go like this, okay? You do it from here, here. The Sabre should become a fluid extension of your hand and your wrist, where the rapier is an extension of the wrist and forearm. The grip on the Sabre is held loosely, and much of the control occurs with the fingers and the thumb. This is different from the rapier that is controlled with a tighter grip and movement of the wrist and forearm. When the blade is being held correctly, the grip can and will pivot in your hand around the tip of the thumb and as a fulcrum. The key is understanding the pivoting grip and how this works with your wrist. This allows the blade to become alive in your hand and gravity becomes your ally while fighting. Yep. Notice that as Greg begins to fight, he keeps the blade and his grip about a forearm's distance away from his chest and body. He maintains this generally throughout the entire course of fighting and uses this distance when blocking or parrying. Notice that the stance with saber fighting is feet are about shoulder width apart with the weight supported centered over the feet. Notice here that guarding or blocking is done best with what's referred to as skeletal alignment. The saber guard can be thought of as a shield. The hand should then be behind that shield and the forearm is then behind the hand and the elbow and body are behind the forearm. The arm and body are moved in the skeletal alignment at about 45 degrees to each guard position, either to the right or to the left. This allows for any shock or, or force that's to be absorbed by the whole body and allows for a rapid repost, as you can see with Greg in the following clip. The saber is generally kept at the distance of your forearm away from your body, and this allows that skeletal alignment to be maintained. Notice here that Greg maintains his skeletal alignment while both cutting and guarding. While Adam breaks the skeletal alignment while attempting to cut and parry at the same time, this allows for an opening and Greg is able to successfully attack. Notice here that Greg still maintains that skeletal alignment and keeps the distance of his guard and sword about a forearm's distance from his body and maintains this throughout the entire bout of fighting while well, Adam loses that position and this is what allows him to miss during his attack as well as leave himself open on a couple of occasions to counterattack. When saber fighting, it's often helpful to imagine that you have stepped through a doorway and that any attack is being parried off to the right or left into the door jam. Notice here that Greg is successful at attacking and hitting Adam in the head because he does not maintain a skeletal alignment with his left hand while guarding the cut from above. Notice here also that Greg does a wonderful job at maintaining his form and preserves the skeletal alignment throughout the entire bout. Notice right here that Liana maintains her form and skeletal alignment quite well until this last maneuver here where she pulls her arm away from her skeletal alignment and this allows for Greg to find the opening at her right chest and strike. 